Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Although designed by a European-based company, the pioneering spirit was constructed at the Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering Shipyard in South Korea in June 2010. The ship's construction cost 6.2 billion euros. After its completion, the vessel was delivered from Daewoo to Masvlakte II Rotterdam port in 2014. Upon arrival at the All Seas headquarters, this giant ship was named Peter Shelta. However, in February 2015, the ship was renamed Pioneering Spirit due to the controversy surrounding the Peter Shelta Hirima who joined the Waffen SS during World War II. For context, the Waffen SS was the combat branch of the Nazi Party's paramilitary organization, the Schutzstaffel, in Germany. In terms of size, the pioneering spirit has an overall length of 1,565 feet, a width of 407 feet, a draft ranging from 33 to 89 feet, and a depth of 98 feet. For its power supply, the ship operates 8 MAN diesel SE diesel generator sets with a capacity of 15,016 horsepower. As its propulsion, the Pioneering Spirit uses 12 Rolls-Royce designed diesel-electric azimuth thrusters. Each thruster can produce 8,108 horsepower, allowing the ship to travel at a speed of 16 miles per hour. The ship's capacity to accommodate 571 crew members is immense, resulting in numerous cabins within. The vessel's top side's lifting capacity was initially 105,822 tons and was later increased to 132,277 tons. Its jacket lifting capacity is 55,116 tons, while its pipe tensioning capacity is 4,409 tons. In September 2021, a set of shear legs with a lifting capacity of 44,092 tons was installed on the ship's aft deck, enabling the vessel to lift platform jackets. Remarkably, this ship has a gross tonnage of 403,342. Its extraordinary size has earned the pioneering spirit the title of the world's largest and heaviest floating ship to date. The pioneering spirit is also equipped with large conventional cranes such as shear legs and a revolving crane. Two tilting lifting beams are used for the installation or removal of steel jackets for fixed platforms. These beams weigh 55,116 tons and are positioned on the ship's stern. When fitted with a stinger, the pioneering spirit can be used to lay pipelines. Pipe segments are welded together on the ship, placed on the stinger, and rolled into the water. The stinger is curved to guide the pipeline to the seabed. The stinger itself weighs 9,259 tons with a length of 492 feet and a width of 213 feet. It is attached on the stinger transition frame or SDF which is installed in the bow slot during the ship's assembly process. The SDF weighs more than 3,527 tons. All Seas has also built two barge vessels to assist the pioneering spirit's operations. They are named Iron Lady and Bumblebee. The Iron Lady is a barge measuring 656 feet long and 187 feet wide with a shallower draft. If the water depth is insufficient for the ship to approach the dock, the pioneering spirit can unload structures onto the Iron Lady.
The Bumblebee Barge, on the other hand, is specifically designed to store the Stinger and STF when not in use. With its various facilities, the pioneering spirit can easily perform the decommissioning of inactive offshore oil rigs. The pioneering spirit itself can dismantle an entire topside platform weighing up to 105,822 tons in a single lift. The platform is relocated by lifting its topside facility and transporting it to shore intact. Removing the top side in a single lift significantly reduces the man hours spent on offshore cleaning, partitioning, installing lifting points, and rigging the platform modules. However, before the giant ship lifts the top side, the upper legs are cut from the base structure. The ship's top side is lifted using hooks attached to the beams of the ship's upper side lifting system. These hooks are pre-adjusted to the precise dimensions of the platform legs. During this process, the ship accurately positions itself around the platform's base structure, operating on dynamic positioning. The hooks are carefully positioned below at predetermined points. Using the hooks, the initial tension of the lifting system is gradually increased to transfer the topside load from the jacket to the ship. This lifting process also employs hydraulic lifting cylinders with a maximum stroke of 15 feet to ensure sufficient clearance and eliminate the risk of re-impact between the topside and the lower structure during and after lifting. After the topside is dismantled, it's time to remove the large jacket from the platform. Typically, the jacket must be cut into smaller pieces to facilitate lifting with cranes, a process that requires lengthy and complex underwater cutting operations. The pioneering spirit itself can actually remove jackets weighing up to 44,092 tons in a single lift, thus minimizing risky underwater work. The cutting process is performed on the foundation piles at the seabed or on the top of the piles. The main lifting blocks, suspended from the jacket lifting system beams, will raise the jacket by its main legs. The jacket is then lifted past the ship's stern, aligned with the beams, set down, and slid into the ship. The jacket removal can also be done after the topside removal is complete without requiring the ship to first unload the topside cargo. The transfer of the oil rig topside to and from the Pioneering Spirit is assisted by the Iron Lady Barge. After the dismantling and relocation processes are complete, the platform parts dismantled by the ship are transported to a designated port. Upon arrival at the port, the platform parts are further dismantled. Most of the dismantled parts are recycled, particularly the steel, which can be melted down to create ship hulls. However, most of it will be disposed of in specialized waste dumps. For information, the Pioneering Spirit performed its first commercial lifting operation on Repsol's YMEMOPU, a mobile offshore production unit located in the Norwegian sector of the North Sea, approximately 62 miles west of Stavanger. This 29,762-ton platform is a jack-up type standing on three legs with an 11-foot diameter. The decision to decommission and dismantle the platform was made in 2013 but was only realized on August 22, 2016.
On April 28, 2017, the pioneering spirit was tasked with performing a single lift of the top side of Shell's Brent Delta platform, located in the Brent Field, precisely 116 miles off the east coast of Shetland, Scotland. This iconic 53,352-ton platform stood on a three-legged gravity-based structure in 459 feet of water. After dismantling the topside, the pioneering spirit transported it to the Seaton Abel port in England for disposal. Subsequently, in May 2017, the pioneering spirit was assigned to install sections for the Turkish Stream offshore platform spanning 578 miles. The pipeline construction was completed in November 2018. This project began from the Russian coast near the city of Anapa, then crossed the Black Sea at depths of up to 7,218 feet before emerging onshore in the Thrace region of Turkey. Moreover, this giant ship played a crucial role in installing three of the four topside sections of the Johan Sverdrup oil platform off the coast of Norway in June 2018. The installation of the P1 and LQ topsides was carried out in March 2019. The pioneering spirit also installed the 59,525-ton P2 topside for the second phase of the Johann Svedra platform development in 2022. In 2019, the pioneering spirit was entrusted with the task of dismantling the topside of the Valhall platform, located 174 miles off the coast of Norway. This platform weighed only 8,377 tons, making it the lightest lifting operation performed by the ship. Interestingly, All Seas had announced its intention to build a larger version of the pioneering spirit named Amazing Grace. This giant ship was scheduled to be built in 2022. However, All Seas ultimately postponed the project indefinitely. To this day, the pioneering spirit remains actively operational and maintains its status as the largest and heaviest ship to date.